Hey guys, it is time for a Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale haul for you guys today. Here is the Victoria's Secret bag and the gigantic Bath and Body Works one. So if you guys are ready for this haul, please stay tuned for this video. They had an amazing sale going on, and I would just say my Bath and Body Works was crazy. I walked by, and I'm like, oh my goodness. I was kind of, like, overwhelmed with all the people that were in my store. But the reason why so many people were there was because they had $10 candles this weekend and this weekend only. That's what the email I got. Um, that's one reason why I went this weekend. Um... Just lately, I couldn't go on Monday when it started because I was so busy. I was working, um, just started my first job, so, um, yeah, so without me rambling on, we'll just get in because I'm so excited. But first of all, I wasn't really super excited because they didn't have a ton of 75% off candles, well, even though the candles were $10, plus the 20% off with that made them like eight fifty something like that, but... In general, they did not have a lot of 75% off bins. They had um, a few 50, a few 75, but not anything major. They had like the sweet pea and the warm vanilla sugar and the flashback fragrance for 375. Um, but nothing like wow that kind of like wowed me besides the $10 candles. But um, I got this one in Georgia Peach. This candle I absolutely love this scent i love the lid on it and it says there's nothing sweeter than a blend of georgia peaches dewy petals and a hint of creamy vanilla this is just perfect for the summertime and that is why i picked that one up then of course i had to get another one this is i hauled in my last bath and body works this is the cinnamon spice vanilla candle um, it says, the delicious fragrance of rich vanilla beans sparkled with sugar crystals and freshly grounded Mexican cinnamon. Um, it smells, this is basically a dupe for the cinnamon sugar donut. They might be a little different, but for the most part, it's a dupe for it. So I only got two candles. I didn't want to go crazy on their candles, so um, that is why I only got two. I went with my mom. So. So, on to the body care stuff. I only got two of these soaps. I got one in the watermelon lemonade scent, and I only like it in the deep cleansing hand soap. I don't like it in any other form. It's just, it's not something I have to rave about like everyone else does here on YouTube. But, um, it's not really a favorite, super favorite of mine, but I do like it enough in the hand Deep cleansing hand soap. What does it say on here? Celebrate the perfect spring day, the freshest fruit, most fragrant blossom, and delicious treat away at your fabulous garden party. Nope, has no keynotes on here. And then this one I have here is the vanilla berry sorbet. Um, they had select, these were the selected. These were just some of these selected hand soaps for three dollars. They had some for three fifty, and it also had just a lot of them were six for twenty four. So I wasn't gonna do that deal because you can get that anytime, you know. And then I got some. Let me take the rest of it out. Then I got a shower gel and a warm vanilla sugar. This was 75% off, and I, they might be discontinuing this scent because this stuff in some annual sales are never 75% off. Um, it says notes of fresh jasmine and creamy sandalwood. Oh, um, yeah, but I really did like this one. It's 75% off to see that. I'm like, score, I'm going to get that. And then I got the Waikiki Beach Coconut Um body scrub. I wanted to try this out. Um, this was normally $16.50. Got it for 
around like eight dollars, seven, eight dollars for this, which not too bad. I was just never gonna spend sixteen fifty for a scrub. And the lady actually said these stuff are the bomb. dot com. She said so. I was gr glad to hear that. So I cannot wait to try this out. Never had a scrub from Bath and Body Works before. And then I have um, some Be Joyful stuff. I have it in the shower gel, which says sparkling clementine, golden mango, mango, frosted jasmine, winter melon, and shimmering sugar, and the 24-hour ultra shade body cream. And yes, this was 75% off, so which was great. This made the shower gel 250, and this one 260. So that was really good with the 20% off I had with that. But I will have to um, tell you, I did say in my empties video, I only liked it in the, or my collection video, I should say. I only liked it in the little pocket bag. But actually, the, the body care of the Be Joyful is definitely growing on me. So, um, yeah, I, I smelled it again, and it kind of, it definitely grew on me. So I had to get some. Why it was 75% off, why not? And then this is the Tiki Mango Mai Tai. This is the 24 hour ultra shade body cream, which was 70. No, was this 50% off? I think this was in the 50% off bin, yeah. And um, these were like 50 plus the 20% off that made them um, about. Five twenty and like five five dollars and then I also got up there I'll go get that for you. I also got it in the fine fragrance mist as well. I didn't need any fine fragrance mist, but I didn't have any summer ones, so I just wanted to pick up just one, so I got the whole set of that. Cause I didn't really have any summer scents that kinda appealed to me that were 75% off, but I did like this scent. It appealed to me, so even though I'm not a big mango person in general. So that was pretty much everything I got from the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. I don't I don't plan on going back and I'm definitely gonna um not buy any Bath and Body Works for quite a while. So you won't see hauls from Bath and Body Works for a while just to let you know. And I just got one thing from the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. I got this little makeup bag because I am going on vacation pretty soon and I wanted to definitely have a makeup bag for when I go on my cruise. And this was 65% off of $24 which made it $6.50 for this bag which was an Oh, with, no, not six fifty. I'm sorry, eight dollars for this bag. Eight dollars for this bag, which I thought was a steal because. Sorry about that, guys. My camera just ended up dying. But like I was saying, this was like eight dollars for this bag, and I looked at Target, and for the same size bag, they wanted fourteen to sixteen dollars for that. Which if I can get a name brand and get it cheaper than what I'm going to at Target. I'd rather do that. So I was really pleased with the bag. I already took all the stuff out already. And it holds a lot of stuff. I was definitely pleased with this bag. Um, I've never owned a makeup bag before. So and let me just say, going in Victoria's Secret as well, it was crazy as well. Yeah, it was definitely crazy. But thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!